Today we are going to show you a how to on to set your chain tension and change your gear on your 600 or 270 micro sprint. First thing to do is loosen up the engine bolts. First loosen up the engine bolts on the engine motor plates, the jacker bolt by unloosening the jam nut then you can back up the jacker bolt itself. Then you will loosen the engine bolt up on the front triangle on the right front. You can get a jacker bar or step on the chain to loosen. Then you will loosen the engine nut for the front sprocket. You will then take the front sprocket off Next step is to loosen the chain guide block to be able to take the chain off the rear sprocket. You will then remove the quarter 28 flange nuts with a impact wrench or ratchet wrench. You can then take the chain off and remove the rear sprocket. You will then put on your new sprocket put on the chain put on the quarter 28 flange nuts then tighten in a crisscross pattern you can then re-put put on the front sprocket with the washer and nut specific for that motor or engine manufacturer. You, can, you will then tighten with a wrench or a socket, never tighten with an impact. For Yamahas, you will ping the front sprocket nut. Kawasaki's, they have a splined washer, you will fold over and ping down that way. You will then increase the chain tension on your chain by sliding the engine forward by using the jacker bolt. You will then increase it to make sure it's about one to three inches of free play. You will then slide your chain block up. The important thing with the rear chain block is to have it as close to the rear sprocket as possible as shown here. The final step will be to set the car on the ground with the tires on to check the chain tension. For winged, step on the left side nerf bar and move the chain up and down to make sure it has one inch to three inches of free play. For wingless, step on the right side nerf bar and check the chain tension for one inch to three inch of free play. You will then tighten the motor mounts by first starting with the right front triangle motor mount. You will then tighten up your rear engine bolts. And final step is to make sure the jacker bolt is resting against the back spacer. Tighten the jam nut and you are good to go to hit the racetrack. 